Pratt Free Library in Baltimore ranked top, one of the top ten nicest places in America, <laughs> and they're going to be featured on Good Morning America. They, they tell you, shh, kindly. WMER 2 News, Abby Isaac spoke to library staff today about what this recognition means. <laughs> This big news comes with just one year left in the Enoch Pratt Free Library, Central Library's historic restoration project. But the national recognition is not for the beautiful appearance of these buildings, but for the people that staff them. You know, the Pratt Library is community. Testimonials about the Enoch Pratt Free Library. It's bringing us all together and giving us knowledge and empowering us of respect, kindness, and community. You see people there that you've basically grown up with. You have that special relationship with the library. So it came as no surprise to library staff that they earned a spot on the top 10 nicest places in America. It doesn't matter if you're the mayor or if you're someone who's maybe down on their luck looking for a job. I mean, you're treated absolutely the same. I don't think there's a lot of places in the world that can say that. 10 Best teamed up with Reader's Digest and Good Morning America to find the nicest place in America where kindness reigns supreme, where communities come together to make a difference. Over 450 destinations were narrowed down to 10. Cities, counties, a yoga studio, a falafel house, and Baltimore's libraries. To be up against a whole town uh, is pretty exciting. A crew from GMA spent three days with library staff. They toured the mobile job center. They came to children's programs. They interacted with our amazing staff. And met with people helped by the social worker in the library program. In just their first year, they helped 600 library customers with housing insecurity, with food insecurity, with major life things, and they did it for free. As the Central Library undergoes restoration, the nation's first public library system continues expanding to impact a city in need. We're looking at those headlines that say not great things about Baltimore, and we're trying to find a way to change that and change the message, but really change things in our community for the better. We'll have more information about this big accomplishment tomorrow morning on Good Morning Maryland, and then you can see their full feature after that on Good Morning America. At the Enoch Pratt Free Library, Abby Isaacs, WMAR 2 News.